Hi and welcome to WordPress. This is a tutorial on how to use the spacer block. I will be using the WordPress 2023 theme. Here is a list of the objectives for this tutorial. Add spacer blocks to your WordPress website. Use a variety of tools to enhance and style your spacer blocks. Use tools to resize the space block to exact dimensions. Move spacer blocks to different parts of your post, page, or site editor. Add a background color to a spacer using the group block. I have set up a spacer block page and I've set up some headings, paragraphs, and images to show when a page has too much squish to it, things that are too close to each other. So we have the title and a paragraph, then a heading, two paragraphs, some images. You can see that there's very little space between the paragraph and the images. This is what it looks like now. This is what we're going to get to. So we have a little bit more space between the title and paragraph. I'm going to show how to add the spacer block here and actually give it some color. Then add another spacer here to just let the page breathe a little bit and give the visitor a place for their eyes to rest when they're scrolling through. So we're going to go into the edit page mode. I'm going to open up my list view. You can see I have different groups that I've put together. A group one is our heading and paragraphs, and then group two is a columns block. I have three columns, and so then each of those columns has an image within that. And the third group is another heading with paragraphs. I'm going to open up my settings and styling. With the spacer block, you have some uh, limited styling within here. Here are the settings. You only have a height. You can change this to a toggle. The uh, t-shirt size is small, medium, large. You can go into pixel or you can use the toggle here. The styles, as of right now, only have a top and bottom margin that you are able to adjust. If you click on there, there's nothing available right now. Let's go ahead and add a spacer. So we're going to start up here at our paragraph. We're going to uh, click on the three dots and then scroll down and go to add after. You'll see that your cursor is starting to flash and it says type backslash to choose a block. So that's what we'll do. Backslash type spacer and we'll click on that and the defaults gives you 100 pixels as you can see over here. I think that's a little too much for that space so we're going to just adjust it a little bit. I want to be able to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it when we see our main page. So probably I'll do 70. Click to update and we'll go to our main page and go back up to the section that we're editing. Make sure I refresh that page. You can see that there's now a space right there. Okay, very simple to add. Our next section is between group one and group two where we have the images. This I'm gonna do a little bit different. There's different ways of adding the spacer block. So I'm gonna click on that second group, which is right here. And I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm gonna do the add before this time. Again, I can do the backslash, or I can go up to the plus sign over here and type in the word spacer. So those are two different ways of finding the spacer block. Then just click on the X to return to the library, and then I can click on the three slashes up here to go back into my list view. We can adjust the size here. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger because we're going to take this one and do something fun with it. All right. Again, I said that there's no styling up here. Make sure I update this so that it appears. But what I can do is I have some basic tools here. I have the spacer icon. I have a drag so I can drag it to different places. I could put it down here instead. This button, the move up, move down, does the same thing. 
And then the third option is just your basic overall toolbar, okay? But over here, if I click on here, I do have the option to make this block part of a column or part of a group. So we're gonna make it a group. Now I'm in the group editing and you can see that over here. So I have another option and I can make it full width. I can make it the wide width and things like that. You can see in the list view, the spacer block is still there. It's just that it's within a group. So that group is giving me more. And I'm gonna to toggle off the inner block use content width because I want the spacer block to go all across because I'm gonna give it a background color. So I'm gonna go over to my style and now I have the ability to add a color. I'm gonna add that blue and then click update. We're gonna go back to that page, refresh. And now we have our band, which is a spacer. And we can always go back and adjust it if it's too big or too small. The last spacer we're gonna put after the images and before the heading. I'm gonna highlight the group of images and I'm gonna click on the three dots. I'm gonna add after. I'm going to backslash spacer. Click on that. Adjust this just a little bit. Hit the update. Go back to my main page. And there I have another space. Please visit learn.wordpress.org for more learning experiences. Thank you.